Martin's gym in Chippenham when Brad is sparring the big white panda, Luke Newman. Real, uh, white. real white panda. Shit, I keep calling him. He's a big boy. Of course he's going to be the big white panda. But here we go. This is the boys in the gym. Ready? So any questions, guys, I will be answering your questions as we go. So feel free to get involved. Also, the uh, super chat is available if anybody really wants to uh, donate to the cause as well. Obviously, only two of you watching, but hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Brad is at the moment just giving Luke some tips um, as he's traveled over quite a long way to train with Brad this evening. So he's going to give him uh, a little bit of a lesson as well. They're just doing some Dutch drills, real super simple stuff, but teaching him essentially uh, a little jab evasion. He's going to rock and lean backwards. Let's do something different now. Josh, what up? Good to see you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, there's going to be some hooks to the liver drill. Yeah, probably. We might do something in a little bit. There's 24 of you in the group chat now. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, I'll be doing a little Q&A with you guys as well whilst Brad is just getting in some rounds. Um, he's just doing some real basic drills with uh, the great white panda, a.k.a. Luke Newman who is a pro boxer out of Bristol. He's also one of Brad's students. So just doing some real simple drill work, just getting warm. And then they're going to get in about 10 rounds of sparring a little bit later. Uh, we have a full, full house here tonight at Spartans in Chippenham. We have the gym area very active. We have the man himself, Carl, over there with a the full gear on. And then we've got a juniors class over in the corner as well. But the main event is right here in the ring. Mr. Bradley Scott preparing for DKU like a pro fighter should be. Good evening, Mark. Hope you're all well, buddy. Big up the West Country massive, yeah, boy. Uh, yeah, I should be doing this myself personally tonight training with Brad, but uh, I decided to do this to my finger this morning. I uh, split my finger now clean in half, ripped it off. I've damaged the nail bed and taken a chunk out of the end of my finger. It's uh, not a very pretty sight. Um, my own fault, absolutely my own fault. It happened in a split second. I sat on a bench and I went to drag the bench forward over a couple of inches and my finger was underneath the bench where the bracket was and then I sat back down and pissed my finger between my fat ass, the bench and the solid metal bracket and uh, took the whole end of my finger off. Not a good look and obviously that kind of fucks us over because I'm meant to be holding pads with Brad fight so I may have to just suck it up and uh, have a go. Here we go, let's watch Brad now. Some of you may recognize this drill. We did this in a, uh, an early video on the channel which was titled uh, Boxing Drills for Beginners. A real simple one, jump out, one, two, but essentially you're interacting with the jab. You're expecting them to jab you as you throw back and then you come through and punish them as they hit nothing but air. But I guess that's what DKU is used to as well, hitting nothing but air. Yeah. Look up. For someone who claims that he's not that fast, Brad is pretty fucking quick, to be fair. For a 200 pound dude, he's, uh, yeah, he's fast. I don't see Brad meditate. Yeah, how will that was said it? Yeah. Uh, hi, Brad Joe. Hi, watching the high speed finger banging. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Hope you guys are having fun and enjoying your evening. Let's see if there's any more comments in this. Happy Thanksgiving, yes. Happy Thanksgiving to all American viewers, those who are watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying your turkey and your yams and all of your uh, food and the football as well. As I guess the, uh, is it the Super Bowl that's on at Thanksgiving? I don't really pay much attention to it. Um, go good on bread, yep. DK's ribcage is gonna be caving 100%. Um, if I miss out any comments, uh, feel free to super chat as well. Anyone that is interested in donating to the cause. Um, hopefully once everything is done and dusted with the DKU thing, we will have you this a stream like this. We'll have several hundred people rather than just um, 56 of you. Yes, Tim Witherspoon has just done a video on Brad. Um, he did a full fight review from Brad's last fight, which wasn't Brad's best performance uh, because he was his first performance in two and a half years and he didn't really train for it. And the dude was uh, the European kickboxing champion and Brad made him his bitch for three rounds. 
landed over 325 strikes in three rounds of three minutes. And for those that want to know the math, that's a punch or kick every 1.5 seconds for 380 seconds. It was um, a lot of volume. And those that think Brad will gas have no idea who Bradley Scott is. For anyone that watched The Ultimate Fighter Smashes back in 2012, you may remember that Brad had the biggest gas tank out of every single one of the pro fighters to the point where he outran them at a higher speed and higher elevation for five minutes past the Ultimate Fighter record. So all of the guys that have ever been on the Ultimate Fighter, your champion is right in front of you for cardio. That's everybody from Uriah Hall, all of the fucking big dudes, uh, Kevin Holland lives on there, uh, Robert Whittaker himself, all of them, all the seasons. Brad is the uh, pole leader on distance traveled over speed in the cardio test. 52 of you guys will watch him now. Brad again teaching Luke a couple of real nice, simple boxing drills, but they are real life boxing drills. See the change of angle? You're essentially drawing your opponent, stepping off line with a little off angle Cuban step, Doink. and then cutting back in. Honestly though, Brad would wreck DK. I think even Joe can. Yeah, honestly, honestly, yeah. Um, I don't train nowhere near as much as Brad. Pretty fucking handy. And DK is not. Like, even I could beat him. I have no record just like DK. But he challenged UFC fighters. Little does he know that no UFC fighter could actually fight him because uh, they're under contract. And Dana is incredibly. Uh, particular about his contract. Hence why the only people which have called Jake Paul so far are the people that aren't in the UFC, Ben Askren and uh, Tyron Woodley. Both of them have expired contracts. Uh, let me get back to these comments and see what's going on. I'll put you back to the good, to get you back to the action. So we have, oh crap, my bad. Um, uh, I watched it, Joe, Brad, Mountain Legend, yep. The bench did more damage than DK Wear. Cheers for that, yeah, my finger's fucked. Um, is that place just a fighting gym or fitness too? It is both. We have a beautiful full gym over there, but we have Carl and one of his boys. Carl looking like a, a marshmallow man from Ghostbusters, covered in pads, taking leg kicks and everything else. Really good gym. It's a 20 hour gym in the town next to us. Oh shit, my bad. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> just get fucking mowed over by Brad. And then we have the adults class about to start. This is a busy club. It's a very, very good club. Just watched some DK sparring. Uh, bring a body bag, DK's gonna need it. Agreed. Uh, looking slick, Brad. Leaning down, yeah, he's lost about eight pounds in four days. And we haven't even done the water weight testing yet. So once we hit Korea on the 2nd of December, uh, the sweatsuit comes out, the sweet sweat goes on and we train and we get him down, hopefully, back down to 90 kilos. So that he's only got a 10K advantage on DK, but it also means that Brad won't be carrying 10K extra, which means his speed will not only match DK, but his power will absolutely skyrocket. And DK will be going down for the count. DK moans when he eats corn dogs. Interesting comment. Uh, where does Brad say now? No, we're not at Dragon's Lair at the moment. Uh, we are here at Spartan's Gym, but Brad is also head striking coach at uh, Sweatbox in uh, Swindon. Uh, Swindon? In Bristol, sorry. And he also teaches at the Way Gym as well. Um, but once this fight is all done and dusted, we are hoping to be doing seminars, hoping to travel around to lots of different gyms around the UK and potentially even Europe. Because if DK can do it and can sell out seminars teaching his bullshit, then the guy that kicks the fuck out of DK should be able to do even better. After Brad wins, DK will announce all these injuries. Well, for anyone that um, knows Brad, you know that he's not been in the best shape over the last couple of years. Um, and he actually rolled a car about a month and a half ago and we thought he'd broken his shoulder. Um, he had a massage tonight and for the first time in 
five weeks he's been able to lift his arm over his head. So if you talk about injuries, not being able to lift your left arm is quite vital when it comes to fighting. Uh, oh, it's just Thanksgiving football. We're watching videos from Afghanistan when I was deployed and let my... Oh, nice. I'm actually going to love to see Brad methodically dissect DK. I don't know whether it will be methodic. I'm hoping that it will be a first round, first encounter. As soon as Brad opens up that first combo, DK is going down. He will either be unconscious or badly enough injured that he'll put his knee to the floor. The ref will give him a 10 count. He will not be able to get up. His spine will fall out of his ass. And, uh, and that's it. That's as far as he goes. You feeling good, buddy? Feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. I'm camera, man. You are indeed. PKU, you smell a poo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question though, we do not have to quarantine. We have government exemption uh, because we are traveling athletes. That's right, baby. We have uh, forms to say that we haven't got to bother with any of that shit, so that's all good. VK's excuses I got bone spurs. Yeah, Brad's gonna bend him over and give him fucking bone spurs if he tries that one. Super hype for the fight, even from halfway around the world. Nice to see a real fighter put a martial artist in place. Agreed, that's exactly what Rob from McDojo Live said. There will be a video going up on Rob's channel tomorrow where myself and Brad sat down and had a good old chin wag. And we talked about the ins and outs, the injuries, the rules some of the little finer details that aren't public knowledge yet. So if you haven't already, head over to McDojo Life on YouTube, subscribe to their channel. It's uh, a good friend of ours, Rob. Let him know that we've come from us and that we sent you. And uh, hopefully he'll give us more shout outs on his Instagram. Let's have a look at the back of these comments to see what people are saying. Brad putting in the hard work as ever, absolutely. He has trained twice a day every day for the last four days. Doesn't sound like much, but this is his pace. He does this shit every day, and then after this, he's gonna do 10 rounds of sparring with this big fucking beast, AKA the Great White Panda. Yeah, DK won't go out of round one. Very correct for saying that. DK Poo is definitely a thing now. We were gonna get t-shirts made up saying DK Who but I think that's more credit than what he actually deserves. Can I bid money on the match? No, I don't think there's any betting sites that'll take it. I think it's it's not a pro bout and you can't usually bet on amateur stuff. Feel free to make bets between yourselves, but uh, this one is not gonna last long. If anything, I think the bet will be which round and how. And if you can bet first round by liver shot, that's a good bet on your money. Or by, uh, by knockout, from Brad's big ass right hand. Oh, he's looking good. Feeling sexy. Right, let's spin you around. They can have a little drinky poos. So, any questions, guys, fire them away. I am here. Uh, if I miss it, feel free to super chat your questions if you really, really want to see them. Let's get back in here. Contact. Contact what? Uh, I expect a full tea bag in. Yes, that is a potential. I might, I might feel like doing that. Um, I got a hundred on Brad. Yeah, buddy, that's the best way to do it. Trash talk is real. Yeah, trash talk is real. But is it really trash talk when it's real? Uh, so I hope my son grows up like Brad. Miss the MMA shows. I don't know, Mark. I, th I think he's got flaws. I think to idolise him is a little bit DKU-ish. I would hate. Brad hates it when we say the word fans because we see you guys as training partners, avid followers, but fans is a little bit sucky uppy, and we would hate for people to start second guessing their own training to side with us completely unnecessary. Like we're not DKU. We're not looking to brainwash you like a cult. But at the same time, we respect that you guys actually know what you're talking about. And you guys, when you do train, we hope that you follow some sense of reality and not fantasy. Nothing worse than these fantasy boys that think that their shit works. As Ramsey Dewey said, enough time has passed from UFC 1 that these guys think this shit works. 
But guess what? UFC 1 proved that Kung Fu does not work in a real fight 28 years ago. And here we are today putting a big MMA fighter against a Kung Fu master to see who can take the prize home and who will set the new standard for fighting. Personally, my money's on Brad, obviously. Let's spin it back round and get back to the action as they're about to set off on another round. What are we doing now, Brad? What are you doing now? Shoot. Yeah? Well, look, here we go. DKU. I noticed DKU always throws his left hooks. Can you come forward? Yeah, that's not really much of a left hook, is it? <laughs> oh no. It may not look much, but that's a bit of a ball ache to get next to someone. So I've been working on a bit of Cuban stuff. So, for instance, what I just done a minute ago, hands up against the fence, like a hitting face. I'm working on this one. Now, whenever I get a chance to get, whenever I get a chance to get to the outside of DKU, that's when I start chipping up on the right hand. When I get to come here once. It doesn't matter how good your guard is. That's why I don't care, I'm going to punch for his guard. Yep, if he has a guard at all, which to be fair, well, we are yet to see it. We haven't seen a guard yet, have he may, we? He may stand like this now, but every good point of this that until you get hit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you turn, 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 turn your hips when that starts coming in. So when I start coming in. What? Luke, if I am, I do my right hand. Imagine this is every round, guys. Imagine this is my left hand. I want to hit it, I want to come up at an angle, I want to um, let the weight go through. Look at it, the way DKU was punching, he was sort of slapping. I appreciate his way of gloves, he was coming across, not me. Dig them knuckles deep, baby. Knuckles, just like Tim with his spoon set, hit the knuckles. If Tim's watching, think of the hero, we have to meet at the train. Not right. spar, not spar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sadly, uh, going up against a two time world champion, world heavyweight champion in Tim Witherspoon. Yeah, that's one fight I do not fancy being on the end of. Let's have a look at some of these comments. Thank you to someone that super chatted. We very much appreciate you. Um, I can't find you. There you are. Great big yellow comment. Why hasn't DKU trained boxing all this time? Hell, he could have started his MMA boxing journey a long time ago instead of that Sistema bullshit. Give him hell, Brad. Good luck. Thank you very much, Laser Beams. Pew pew for your comment. Great name, by the way. Uh, why has he trained it? Because that would mean he actually has to learn how to fight. And to anyone that goes to his seminars will understand very quickly that DKU doesn't teach people how to fight. He teaches them magic tricks. He might as well be doing sleight of hand at a dinner table at a wedding. What he's actually teaching people is how to imitate someone that couldn't fight. Someone couldn't fight, aka being Bruce Lee. Yes, he might have been a good philosopher and he might have had good movies, but could he actually fight? There is no proof of said fight. Oh, he did boxing when he was a kid. Yeah, well, I used to play football, but I don't claim to play for Man U fucking United now. So, I personally think DKU's fighting record is completely fucking ridiculous, unnecessary, a completely pointless fact. What are we teaching here? Brad teaching the Cuban step, I think. Oh, he's teaching a loaded uppercut, and there's a step, and then we come off to the side. Sweep, drop. See, this is how you would never ever see DKU teaching this. He would rather stand with a somebody in the ring, put the pad against their gut, and then teach them a one inch punch for three hours and at 300 euros per person. What a waste of fucking money. But at least you get to imitate Bruce Lee in the pub and tell people, I know how to do the one inch punch. But in reality, you ain't learned fuck all. See this, these are the fine little minute details which people don't realize when it comes to boxing. This footwork may look slow now, but look, pop, step, pop, step and then he's going to step even wider and come around the outside. Pop one, 
step one, cross, step out again, and then throw the extra. Brad's got no problem, just be careful. I think DK's view real training is closed door. No, it's not, because guess what? He's been posting videos for the last seven fucking years, and they're all shite. If he has been planning the long game on hiding his true power, he's done a fucking great job, because all of his other videos are absolutely shite. So, do I think he's been hiding his true power? Absolutely not. If he was, he'd teach it. If you were good at fighting, why would you teach the one inch punch? Because it means fuck all. All you have to do is, what Brad is doing right now is more of a lesson than all of DKU seminars put together. Alright, I saw another super chat come through, so let me just scroll back up so you guys can, so I can read it out to you. From the Finnish Beast. Go on, Brad. I hope you win the match against DKU. Thank you very much, Finnish Beast. Let's, uh, it's going to be a gimme, let's face it. Like, this dude is a beast. He's six foot two. He's going to get down to 90 kilos. His power is up. His speed is up. He's feeling great. He is a cardio machine. Anyone that thinks that because he's every aerial gas, not a chance. Look at the power in that. That is scary. Whoop. But it's all the little things. Like, if you notice, his head doesn't stay still ever. Look, whoop, whoop, boom. You try and hit that, that thing ain't there. Ready? Whoop! Wow! Beautiful! We got Connor McQuist in in the comments. Thank you very much for this afternoon, Connor. Brad is feeling nice and loose, nice and powerful. Brad had a, uh, a sports massage earlier where Connor basically beat the fuck out of him, made him cry, made him sweat, but his left shoulder is a thousand times looser. He has full range of movement back for the first time in four weeks. And the bear is back, baby. Remember guys, if anyone wants their comment read out, feel free to super chat. Obviously I am begging for money, yes, I absolutely know that, but you know, it's all, all helps towards the kitty. And hopefully 2022 will be our year. We will be releasing training programs, new merch, meet and greets, seminars, the lot. But we need you guys to support us. Share the word, share the fight, buy the pay-per-view. And you never know, we could be coming to a town before for you very soon. 150 people in the chat and on the live. I appreciate every single one of you joining us here on this Thursday evening at Spartan's Gym in Chippenham. The sharpshooter, man. Yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Imagine he drops his knees and starts pulling out a fucking sharpshooter. Any specific plans for Birmingham regarding seminars? Yes. Uh, we have friends at Camby's Wrestling School, also at 18Y Unlimited for the, for the MMA gym. Uh, yeah, there's, we, we've got some plans, so you never know. If we, uh, all, all seminars will be very well listed and uh, they'll be coming in 2022, so keep an eye out. Add us on Instagram, uh, add Brad on Instagram, but mostly add Fight Bible because Brad is pretty crap with technology. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, Jamie Meekin in the chat. He's one of our boys from Dragon's Lair. Uh, son. Good to see you here. Good luck, guys. I wish I could stay for the rest of this. Give, give him hell, Brad. Thank you, David. Uh, feel free to check in any other time, mate. Check out all the videos. I see his flaws like a BJJ white belt. Bro, never mind what Brad sees. Sees what? What are you on about? I have no idea. What is in DKU? Because that's pretty bad. Uh, hi, Joe Daniel here. Are you worried about getting set up over in Korea? Not really, because um, he's there. What are they going to do? Unless they've got weapons, no one's going to fucking touch us, to be fair. And, and we're also insured, protected. We've got drivers, we've got friends out in Korea as well that are willing to hang with us and train with us and show us around the town. We've got a day and a half from when we land to the fight. In that time, what we will get up to, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, a victory beer for a victory beer. Very much from Abapel, is it? Sorry, mate, that's a very strange name. Can't read that one very well. But yes, uh, many, many beers will be sunk. Absolutely. Joe, is Spartans anything to do with Lee Remedios? No, I don't think it is. Um, it's Carl and Grant Mallinson, which uh, that's Grant over there in white. And Carl is somewhere. No idea where Carl's gone. 
but it's uh, two brothers that own and run this gym and it is a very good gym you see we've got the adults class kickboxing on tonight there's a lot of people there we've got girls on the mat we've got boys on the mat we got pro fighters amateurs people wanting to lose weight and just get fit and healthy it's a great place to be if you're in wiltshire and you fancy a good kickboxing session and you may even run into me and brad here feel free to come on down they do uh pay-per-view classes so you can just turn up and pay pay to play it's all good what about the jet lag it's a good question luckily we have business class flights leaving from heathrow at 11 a.m uk time and we land in south in south korea at 11 a.m the next day we we fly overnight it's a 15 hour flight but we lose 10 hours on the journey so it accounts for 24 hours so we actually land fresh as a daisy and then we've got a day and a half of prep a press conference and then fight night flying home on the other hand will absolutely suck because we will lose 10 hours plus the 15 hour flight i think we we land back in the uk at eight in the evening after leaving the year, like the day before it's uh, going to be a hell hell flight back i'm in swindon looking to lose weight 60 pounds down so far wow asbestos lung fair play to you mate 60 pounds is a lot of weight keep at it what are you doing for your training let us know good luck can't wait for this brad looks nasty in there yes it does brad is you know we haven't even started the sparring yet and he's already getting the rounds in he's already getting his lungs going this is all down to cardio, baby. This is all feeds that tank of Brad's. Korean barbecue is the ish. Yes. Uh, we've got some friends out there that's going to take us some, for some Korean barbecue. Very much excited for that one. Especially seeing as Brad's diet has been on point for the last week. We're talking muscle food prep. We're talking clean steak. We're talking eggs and turkey bacon in the morning. We're talking protein shakes and supplements. This dude is on fire. Remember guys, the super chat feature is available for anyone who desperately wants their comment to be read out or just wants to donate towards the beer fund in South Korea for the after party, the celebration. Because let's face it, that's what's gonna happen. It's just got very loud in here very quickly, so I do apologize if you can hear me very well. Um, it's gone a bit mental over there. The adults class in full swing. Wow. Whoop, bang, bang. Very nice from Big Lou. Very nice. DK who baby live long fight perfect yes Brandon live long fight perfect we may bring out a uh, something else we might, might bring out a merch which uh, does exactly that love the sound of the adults class yeah they're throwing hands uh, obviously we have a variety of quality variety of size but that is the beauty about kickboxing anyone can do it great fitness Good for your, great for your mental health, great for your physical health. I would urge anybody to get to a kickboxing class. New Zealand is cheering for you. Give them hell. Thank you, Neil. We perhaps will do exactly that. I have more chance of winning the lottery than DK beating Brad. I think you're right, personally. I think unless Brad slips and trips and falls onto the end of DK's fist, this ain't going to even land a single shot on him. Brad's too good. Uh, it sounds disgusting, but he can hold pads for pro boxers that throw punches faster than DK can. And if you hold pads for someone like that, you know where the punches are going. You can read them enough to put your hands in front of them. Being holding pads and doing Dutch drills like this really does help because Brad can read the person. He knows where their head is, he knows where their hand is going, to the point where he can put his fist on the end of it. DKU does not hold pads for anyone unless he is holding them 
against the person's chest so we can do a stupid one inch punch bollocks. Let's face it, that dude can't fight. Let's go back into the comments. Brad looks makes Mr. Clean like Mr. Rogers. Yeah, agreed. Ah, shit. We're getting tracked down here. Very nice. Good. Much love from South Africa. Yeah, I love South Africa as well. Ah, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. What are the repercussions for DKU pulling out if he does? Um, well, he'll end up meeting Brad in the car park rather than in the ring, but that's for fucking sure. Uh, we are making sure he pays us up front so that even if he pulls out last minute like a pussy, then we still at least walk away with something. But honestly, can we stop him from pulling out? No, but I hope to God that you guys, the fans, make sure he doesn't and you give him fucking hell if he does. Because, let's face it, he called out Brad. Yes, we made the challenge originally, but he asked Brad. And then to do that and then to pull out would be fucking ridiculous. Let's hit up these comments again. Is it South Korea? Yeah, is it South Korea, not North Korea? He has too much to lose. You say that, but COVID means that he has not been able to do a seminar for nearly two years. I don't know what his financial situation is, but if you're desperate enough to need to fight Batman, then you must be pretty desperate. You know, like I haven't seen any new seminar videos of his come out for quite a while. Um, I think he had one in Germany a couple of weeks ago, but meh. Who knows? Who knows at all? Let's get back to these comments. I'll flip you back round. DKU won't pull out as he believes. Yeah, he does. He believes his own bullshit. I've been pulling out for years, son. Yeah. Make no babies that way. That's always good. Uh, good luck to the both fighters. Yeah. I wish no ill health on DKU, but I do wish he takes a nap in the center of the ring, looking up at the lights, with Brad stood with his arms in the air. But after that, I hope he wakes up and gets up and carries on his life. I don't wish ill of anyone. We've had friends nearly die in the ring and it ain't pretty. It ruins people's lives. But that is also the beauty of boxing, especially for someone who doesn't know how to fight. He's going to get hit a few times, put his knee to the floor. The referee will give him an eight count. He's going to look up at the referee and have no idea where the fuck he is. And he may not even get up after that. Let's get back to these comments. Remember, if anybody would like to super chat, it goes towards the beer fund for North, for North Korea, for South Korea. It goes towards the beer fund, but also it means that we can film more of this beast in action. These short videos are hilarious. I'm guessing you mean the one where he was uh, not under my supervision and he was in Lanzarote smoking a cigarette, drinking wine, uh, saying that he doesn't give a shit about DKU. I wish him a speedy recovery, yeah, I do as well. <laughs> Brandon, having three kids, mate, if that's what you wanted, crack on. Uh, I'm excited to see the look on DK's face when he gets punched in the face for the first time. I've seen what that face looks like, and it tends to look like this. And it's quite funny. It is quite funny. As soon as these big old set of everlasting Crows come flying at his face. They didn't sponsor us, sir. No, no, they didn't sponsor us, but those gloves are banging. Uh, due to the rules, though, Brad has to wear a set of 14 ounce gloves. DK has to wear 10s. And to anyone that knows the difference in gloves, a 40% weight is a lot. But that's boxing. That's the life, sadly. Let's get back to these comments. I think the boys are taking a little break. There is Big Carl over there. Big Carl Mallinson, he's the owner of the gym. Pro boxer, all of these belts are his. And uh, just between you and me, Brad would fuck him up. So, what does that say? If a guy can have all of those on the roof, stay out of the way? Yeah. yeah, I'm being told to get out of the ring. Well, stay out of the ring. Are we sparring now, are we? Are we sparring now? 
Well, that one down there. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna get it. That one, go, go, go. that one down on the table. No, on in the bag in the. Uh, oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Right, hang on, hang on, guys. I just gotta get a drink out of the bag for the big, big panda. Oh, that shit. Oh. Right. Where's the drink? Drinky poos, drinky poos. Car keys. Remember guys, super chats if you want to answer comments. I'm going to be filming now. I'm going to film in this sparring. They're about to start sparring. So if you want a super chat and you want your comment read, um, I won't be reading the comments because I have to concentrate on the boys. The only way to get it read is to donate now. Right. Oh. Yes, Carl. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, good to see you. Right. 10 ounce versus 14 ounce. Yeah, it's a bit of a fucking weight discrepancy, isn't it? 172 people in the live stream now. Thank you very much, guys. We love every single one of you. Thank you very much for joining. Will the fight be free to watch? Absolutely not. It's DKU. Everyone's got an arm and a fucking leg. Uh, it's 1995. It's available on Fight TV. No doubt it will leak online though at some point. So feel free to check it out maybe the day after. But by then it will be very much over. You will have missed out on all of the action. But we are also by contract not allowed to put anything online from the fight until a week after. Once we're well home and done. Well, so we're going to be live streaming. We're going to be making videos. And there will be lots of videos online. So I'm sure you guys will know the result way before that. Right, I believe there's a betting website. I don't know, I don't think there is. It's, a, it's an amateur fight, so no. Right, now for the good bit. Sparring. Is that Cuban step that Brad's practicing? Let me get in as well. Follow these boys around. Luke is a very, very good boxer. Brad going for long guard, looking for his way in. A few little feints there from Luke. Brad again walking him down into the corner. This is where DKU will spend most of his time pinned against the ropes. Very good, great movement from Brad. Very quick hands from, D from Luke. Brad with the head movement gets offline. If you look at Brad, not once does he blink. He does not take his, hands, his eyes off of the punches for a second. Brad looking to lean left, but look how quick he can move out of the way of that shovel uppercut. Great head movement. See that evasion? Do you think they has got that in his bag? Not a fucking chance. Oh, very nice. Caught Luke on the step in. Luke got a little counter in on the way, but Brad's landed harder. See, this is one game that DK will have no idea about how to clinch. And Brad's dirty boxing is exactly that. It's very dirty. Oof. Good. Very nice. There's that left uppercut to the body. Brad's favorite shot. He calls it the uh, pint of Jaeger bomb. Because it will kill your fucking liver. Oh, we got ourselves another super chat coming in. I'm off now from the finished beast. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much for your donations. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Anybody else, feel free to copy his example. Give us your money, baby. Money, money, money. Great once again for Brad. Look, Brad's pressure is constant. It's constant. Not once is Luke the one driving the pace. It's always Brad. Brad boxing him in, squeezing him down. Head movement from Brad. Chin down tight. There's no way that thing's getting punched when it's tucked in that deep. Good. MMA would be merciful. It would be over in seconds. Brad would literally pick him up and murder him. And that 10 kilo difference in MMA is too much. There's a reason why weight classes exist in grappling, wrestling, and MMA. That Cuban step, see that? Brad step forward onto the right stance, hits the body, and that's the end of round one, ladies and gentlemen. 
Round one of ten in the flag. Yeah, I know. This is going to be a hell of a night. And for those that think that Brad has no gas tank, what the fuck? What you just witnessed then is ten times the boxing that UK you can do. And it's just done at a pace that he would never be able to handle. Oh, my, oh shit, I have to go move my car. Sorry. I'm going to set you guys up on the floor. I'm going to set this up here. Let me put you guys on the floor. I have to just go move my car. I'll put that there. And you guys can watch the next round. And I will be back in two seconds. looking for a way in. He'll faint, he'll throw you left, make you think it's coming one way, duck and weave and go the other. Yes, Brad is a beast. He is an absolute man mountain at the moment. And yes, Luke may be bigger, but he ain't Brad, let's put it that way. I don't think he'll pull out, personally. I think his reputation is too special to him. His ego is too strong. And not only that, he needs the money. Good counter from Luke there. This is how pro boxers train, guys. This is Brad's second session of the day. This is where Brad's game shines, his power. He's gonna pin him, oh, very good counter there from Luke. Do you think DK's even ever been punched that hard before? But then Brad comes back with the power, there's the body shot. There's the point of Jaeger. Watch the point of Jaeger coming in, he's gonna lift that elbow. Ah, oh, he's gonna break him the chance. Good from Luke, very good. Then you're getting trampled by the big white panda there. And that's round two. Good counter there. Remember guys, any super chats, any questions you want for Brad, bang it on a super chat. We need to buy Brad a beer in, North, in South Korea when we get there. This man will want to celebrate his win. So feel free to donate to the channel guys. Let's jump back in the comments, see what's going on. How much for Brad to take a dive? Um, honestly, I don't think he would ever. When, if you're a pro fighter, the, 
the ego to want to win is too high. To take a dive, it, it doesn't work like that. It's too obvious otherwise. It's very hard to get hit hard and then take it and go to the ground on purpose because no one wants to get hit that hard. And you can tell when someone doesn't put their guard up on purpose. You can very much tell. Do you think DK might be mur 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 lurking around here somewhere? Yeah, possibly. I definitely think he's got some team members that might be watching. Also, Kaiser Dominion said, keep your hands up, Brad. Brad knows exactly when his hands should be up and when they should be down. He knows exactly when. When you stand in the pocket, you keep them up. When you're out of the pocket, you lure them in. And Brad loves to lure in boxers by lowering the hand which he wants them to hit. Luke swinging for the hill. Good uppercut there from Brad. Brad's gonna light him up, watch for the, wait for the Jaeger bomb strike. Pint of Jaeger will come into that liver very soon. Oh, Brad wants to practice his corner work. Something which DKU will never have a chance to do. But Brad's gonna Philly shell. There's a Philly shell. He's using his left shoulder as a block. But Luke is a very quick, very powerful guy. Brad coming through with that double jab. Chasing Luke all the way back across the ring. No escape. Oh, very good jab from Luke. But, unfazed, still coming forward. Guess what, guys, in boxing, you get punched. That is all part of the game. Obviously, yes, not getting punched is better than getting punched. But the only way to uh, get used to being punched is to get punched. Oh, great right overhand for Brad, landing clean. Caught loop on the circle. Brad, a little check hook on the way out there. Oh, and again, Brad with a shovel leaping left uppercut. Oh, we have another super chat in the group. Thank you very much to whoever has just done it. Uh, 79 Tsar, I guess. What is that? Zanzibar currency? Whereabouts are you from, Kaiser? What did Brad think about Tim Witherspoon giving him boxing advice? Uh, honestly, a proper martial artist, well, I say a, a proper fighter, will accept any advice, especially from a world heavyweight champion boxer who used to spar with Muhammad Ali, used to fucking uh, sport Frank Bruno, Lennox Lewis, and loads of huge, incredible boxers. And like I said, was a two-time world heavyweight champion. So if you don't take advice from that, and you're a bit of an idiot, to be fair. Brad doing really good again. Again, he's just chasing Luke down, boxing him up in the corner. Fast as anything. Oh, get the fuck out of the way. Great rounds, boys. Good job, buddy. Wow. Nope. Right, let's see what comments we got on the go then, guys. Um, right, uh, everyone has a plan until boom. Yeah, they all Mike, Mike Tyson phrase. Shit, my hands in the way, my bad. Uh, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. That's very true. Brad would rush him into the corner and slam him through the planet. I like that. That's a nice way of putting it, but it's very true. South African brand. Oh, very nice. I do like South Africa. South Africa. I got friends in Cape Town, friends in Durban. So, love me some South Africa. Hopefully, we'll come out there one day. You never know. Right, round four. Here we go. Brad always looking to get on the inside. He's so fast in and out. See that? Jab in, jab out, jab in, jab out. Follow with the left. Get him baited with the left and then drive the right straight through the hole. He's gonna pad that left hand down of Luke. Brad's got really good hand traps. He actually practices a little bit of Wing Chun with it. 
uses his jab hand. See how fast he can he can retreat as well. And Luke's a big guy coming forward. Great head movement, Brad. Eyes on the prize always. Very good, Brad. Oh, good body shot there to Pinter Jaeger. Oh, you think DK is ready for that? Come on, do you think DK Ryu is ready for that? Wow, that speed, power, all in one. Remember guys, if you want to guarantee your comment to be read out, bang that super chat. 20 quid in the kitty, that'll buy us a couple of rounds. Keep it going everybody, we love you, we appreciate every one of you. Whoa, big swing and a miss from the big panda. <laughs> I say big swing and a miss, great head movement should I say from Brad. Good body shot as well. Take his back. <laughs> 25 quid in a kitty. We love you guys. Who is it? Oh, it's uh, Kaiser again. Whoa, hello. Buy Brad a beer for you, buddy. Yes, we will. We'll toast you on the night. Thank you very much. Tim the legend in the chat. Is he? Let me find him. Whoa. God damn! Big Tim with the spoon in the chat. Welcome Timmy boy, thank you very much for uh, the advice on Brad's video. He would love to learn at your overhand right. And I, I hope you appreciate his sparring tonight. And it gives you the uh, that little fire back in your belly. Look at the movement, he does not stop. There's the pint of Jaeger gonna light him up oh and he's back out no damage taken delivered some brutal little shots on the inside brother yes mate good job Luke well done man good job buddy wow wow what do we think everybody what do we think I think he did fucking brilliant to be fair not a bad little life was it boys this is a taster what we have for you on the 5th slash 4th of December, DKU. It's not going to look good for you, buddy, but uh, we wish you the best. Keep trying, keep practicing, keep doing your shadow boxing and hitting a bag. You never know, you might get lucky. But for now, guys, that is the end of our live stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much to everyone that super chatted. I know it's money at the end of the day, and we appreciate every single one of you. So make sure you check back in. I might do another one of these tomorrow if you guys are interested. Thank you for those who have commented. Thank you for joining. But for now, guys, from me, Joe, Brad, and Big Luke, peace out.